Let me introduce you to the flat cat belt clip. I designed this because when I was walking through the woods, I, it was too easy to have a slingshot fall out of your back pocket. And with this design, it's very important that the bands come over the top of the forks instead of this way. And that little extra time spent fiddling with that every time became a nuisance. And so I wanted something that could keep it in orientation uh, and be a secure, solid clip that wouldn't be something that had moving parts, uh, didn't have uh, magnets, because they don't like magnets in your bag, deep magnetizing your credit cards or whatever. And so I came up with this. Notice how there's a teardrop shape in the grip of the slingshot, and there's a teardrop shaped peg here on the clip. So what happens is that the teardrops match up, get this right, it slides on, and then it rotates down. Okay? And what this allows you to do is have a, a rock solid attachment here. There, you're not hoping the magnets are strong or hoping the clip is secure. There's no way this can fall off unless you're rolling down a hill, it goes to exactly this rotation and slides off in exactly this way. Or the clip itself is shattered to pieces, in which case you probably have bigger problems than a lost slingshot. So that's how the design works. There's a little keeper here if you want to put your bands up. We'll show you that in just a second. And then it's designed to clip on a, bit, a belt clip up to, I think, one and a half inches. So let me show you how it works in action. Okay, so you're out shooting, and then you're done shooting, you're going to release these fingers, but keep your first finger and thumb in the same place, bring your hand up to your belt, and by the time you've bent your elbow and brought your hand up, it's in about the 1030 position anyway, and then you just slide it on and release it, and it's locked in place. And it's locked in place so much that unless you're rolling down a hill, uh, and it happens to rotate up into this and fall off, you're not going to lose your slingshot, no matter how much climbing, slipping, jumping you do. Okay, that was the whole point of this, that I wanted it to be secure. One thing I really want to emphasize is that no force is required to get the slingshot off. It's really wrong to call it a clip, because a clip implies that there's something flexible and you push hard enough and it gives and snaps and then gives and snaps again. There's none of that going on here. This is just a mechanical, uh, you know, grip, I guess. So you bring it up, this teardrop lines up with this teardrop, and you just slide it sideways. No force required. Even people I explain this to often will be trying to pry it off. They're, they're looking for that pull snap that comes with a clip. And so I really want to emphasize that that's not how this works. You bring it up until it lines up and you just slide it out. Okay, so that's the first thing to emphasize. The second is that it's really designed to keep your shooting grip the whole time. Notice how like these come released, but the first finger and thumb stay in their same position. Slide on, drop. Okay. You go to shoot again, you slide it forward, shooting position, slide out, shoot, return. And so as you're walking around, it becomes this sort of effortless, just, you barely even think about it. It's as easy as pulling out of a pocket, but it keeps it oriented, okay? Up, off, shoot, back on. It's quiet. Um, there's nothing moving or stretching that can eventually break. And so it's why I like it so much. Okay, um, let's talk about this clip. If you are find yourself in brambles and branches, you can take the pouch and clip it in this little clip there. And it's out of the way, so it's less likely to catch. Okay? The other advantage of that is if you go out into civilization, there's people around any situation where people might be uncomfortable with you carrying a slingshot, you can tuck that up and take your shirt down, and then it's hidden. Okay? So that's the other advantage of that clip. Um, and I think that's it. So thank you very much for watching this video too.